Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Viveros here from Hot Take Hockey, and this will be my final NHL trade deadline 2024 predictions for the 25 targets I'm going to talk about here. Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of other names that are either traded that I didn't talk about or surprise names that come into rumors over the next 48 hours. But just overall, I wanted to focus on these 25 names, and I feel like I'm pretty confident on some of these names, maybe not so much on some of them, but definitely comment your thoughts down below, hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I will be live all day Friday, March 8th for the deadline, starting in the morning into the afternoon. I'll be live breaking down all the trades, giving you guys all the rumors and all the, the scoop, and just in general, giving my predictions and thoughts so i hope to see you in that live stream but let's kick it off with some predictions here starting with some big names and that's jake gensel going to the vancouver canucks for most names i'll give like a backup option so jake gensel vancouver canucks maybe vegas golden knights is a second option as many insiders have reported gensel is going to require a lot so the fact that the vegas golden knights already traded for anthony mantha I think makes it a little less likely, but I could still see them being a player for a big name, whether it's a forward or defenseman. Elliot Freeman said internally they've talked about Noah Hannafin. As you guys see there, I have Noah Hannafin going to the Tampa Bay Lightning, but I think the Boston Bruins would be the backup option uh, going home, and maybe Vegas is a wild card team. But I think Hannafin, Gensel, Zucker, I think Vegas is going to be in on all those guys as one more addition with Matt, uh, Mark Stone on LTIR. Elias Lindholm, you know what? It's just the report that came out from Chris Johnson. I just think if the Vancouver Canucks, in this scenario, and based on the report we got, if the Vancouver Canucks acquire Jake Gensel, now I do believe that they could flip Lindholm because that's that was my reservation on them acquiring Gensel was that they already made their big move for Lindholm. But if they're willing to flip Lindholm to a team like the Boston Bruins, I think the Canucks are going to go all in on Gensel. So I think Gensel, that's a good pick. Vancouver or Vegas, Lindholm, if... He either stays to Vancouver or goes to Boston. Zucker, Boston or Vegas, I think. But I'll say this. Zucker was a line mate with Charlie Coyle in Minnesota. Maybe he could be a line mate with Charlie Coyle in Boston. So, like I said, Hannafin to Tampa seems very likely if they can get a deal done. Freeman said there's already an extension agreed upon. And Jacob Markstrom, he'll either stay in Calgary or go to the Devils, I would think. Tyler Toffoli to the LA Kings. Uh, I do think there's a potential mock trade I could discuss here, uh, and I'll show later in the video here, but there's two guys on the LA Kings that could make sense to the Devils. Matt Dumba to the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't know if I want it to happen, but I feel like there's been a lot of smoke. Elliot Friedman poured, fire, uh, poured some water on it, but then there was a fire lit back up by a couple other insiders, so I, I'm really unsure, but I feel like that would be the move that Trey Living wants because he wanted him in free agency. Adam Henrique to the Edmonton Oilers. All signs are pointing towards Henrique going to Edmonton or Colorado. We'll see, though. Wenberg to the New York Rangers. Apparently, Colorado was out, so maybe the New York Rangers. Pavel Buchnevich to the Carolina Hurricanes. I feel like the Rangers would love it to have him back, but I'll stick with Buchnevich to Carolina. Uh, I do think the Hurricanes are going to go heavy at Gensel if they miss on him. I feel like Buchnevich is the second option there. Maybe Colorado looks at a package deal from Montreal, and I actually forgot to include David Savard in this, but I'll do it as a combined. David Savard and Jake Allen to Colorado. Potential mock trade. I, I honestly could see a scenario where that happens. Colorado, once upon a time, acquired Manson. They like those kind of defensemen. I could see both Jake Allen and David Savard going to the Avs. Um, I think David Savard would be a perfect fit for the Leafs, but I just don't see Montreal and Toronto figuring that out. So uh, Colorado, Montreal making a trade happen, Allen and Savard. Riley Smith, Vegas Golden Knights. I think if if they don't acquire Zucker, they don't acquire Gensel, I think the reunion for Riley Smith makes sense. Vladimir Tarasenko to the Florida Panthers. Reports are suggesting he wants the Panthers. I think the Panthers will make this one happen. Sean Walker to the Edmonton Oilers. I think they're looking at Walker and Sealer here as the defense upgrade. Um, I think they're looking at Henrique for the forward upgrade, Walker and Sealer, or one of the Flyers defensemen. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. So I'll go Walker, but if Sealer doesn't stay, I could see the Oilers getting him as well or just him. Anthony Duclair to the New York Islanders. I think there's a lot of reasons for the fit. I think with Scott Mayfield going on LTAR, Duclair's cap hit fits right into that. So I think with the Islanders needing secondary scoring, I think Duclair is a perfect fit. He could be on like a third line next to Zizekas or jump throughout the lineup. 
uh, Alexander Carrier or Trennan for the Boston Bruins or both. Uh, I actually su- suggested this package for the Toronto Maple Leafs more the reason why this could be a Boston. <laughs> like, I feel like that happens so often where it's like Toronto is targeting guys, Boston, Tampa scoops them up. So I could see Boston going after one of those guys. Um, I think Trennan, Toronto and Boston will be looking at Trennan, I think. Nick Dowd, the Edmonton Oilers. Um, as I said, I think the Oilers are going to go for depth forwards. The rumor right now is they're going after two depth forwards. I think the big name will be Adam Henrique. I think Nick Dowd could be the second option there. Uh, I also could see Edmonton just looking at Washington in general for a couple ads. Jacob Chikorin, I think he stays. Uh, I think there's always been smoke around Chikorin during the season. I just feel like I feel like Ottawa's going to figure that out in the off season. I could be wrong though. I mean, I hope Ottawa, I hope Ottawa proves me wrong and makes the deal happen. That means the deadline stream is going to be exciting. And then the final five I have listed here. Again, I think New Jersey, LA could find a trade where Kaliev and Matt Roy go to New Jersey and Toffoli goes back to LA. Uh, I think that could be a potential trade. Joel Edmondson to the Winnipeg Jets. I feel like a lot of teams are going to be in on Edmondson, but I feel like the Jets, maybe they send like Stanley or Hanola back to Washington in this deal. Edmondson and Washington also gets a draft pick. Scott Lawton stays. And Andrew Peak. I just feel like he needs a change of scenery. I know people have talked about Toronto with Andrew Peak, but I feel like Philly and Tampa would be two teams I'd look at for that. But uh, more specifically, I'd look at Philadelphia, especially if they trade Walker or Sealer or both. They're going to need a defenseman in there, and I feel like Andrew Peak on that right side could make a lot of sense, especially with the wrist alignment injury and especially with the fact that they're still in the playoff race. They're actually in a division spot as I make this video. So give me your thoughts, guys, on these 25 targets. Again, throw David Savard in there. Forgot to include him here because I do think there's a good chance that Montreal actually keeps him. But I think a team like Colorado, if they sauce like a first-round pick and a prospect at Montreal and – Maybe Montreal was willing to retain or take a contract back. I think there is a scenario where Colorado gets one of Allen, Savard, or both. And uh, depending on the LTIR situation for them and just their overall cap situation, maybe they also look at a center around the league and try to just send Ryan Johansson out to create some flexibility. So hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, all that good stuff. Comment your predictions down below. And I hope to see you on the trade deadline live stream on Friday. Peace.